I got the hell going. Um, it's just it's so hard to see that Alex had to see me at such a bad time. And now I'm worried about him because I don't know if he's alive or dead. You know, I don't. For all I know, people killed him. A lot of people didn't like him because he told everybody, girls, men, everything, about how bad they were, of the, the shitty ways they are. <laughs> And people said he's a convict on the run. No, he got charged. He did his time. He's not on the run. He's a he's a good guy. Same thing happened to me. We were doing nothing wrong. And we got persecuted by the United States government for standing up for what we believe in our heritage and who we are as a people. Me and him are kindred souls. I, I don't know if I can talk to him or not, but regardless, I want to give him some spiritual knowledge. It might assist him. You know how hard I was being held back by the pharmaceutical companies. You've seen me, Alex. I don't. You've seen the essence of what was going on. I've talked to you many times on Facebook. I don't know if you can recall, but my star group will show you where we had those conversations. Um, we agreed on a lot of things. And the one thing that hurt me the most was when you got mad at me for um, trying to sell a shirt for too much money when I paid $200 for it to begin with. That shirt was well worth $80 of value. Um, it was worth more than that, actually. Um, $80 was actually cheap for that shirt, Alex. Um, if if I really wanted to, the name brand, the diamond, if it was a diamond name brand, I could have, seven diamonds name brand, I could have sold it for probably four or 500 if I'd have went to American Pickers or somewhere. But I was trying to have someone local have a really fancy, nice shirt they could go to town with or go take their girlfriend out with for the, the low though. Because anyone else like Mike Wolf or someone like that on American Pickers, they would want four or five hundred dollars for that shirt respectively. Um so I have to forgive you, Alex. But what you have to understand is all the suppression that I went through fourteen years of speaking my mind, you had a little bit of leeway because the lot helped you because you had a platform. I didn't have a platform at the time. The thing was, was now I'm advanced beyond you, not to brag, not to brag, to only enlighten other people. Because the thing is, is with when it comes with emotions, sex, money, rock and roll, anything you want to think of in this spectrum of knowledge and energy, the more you hold something back, the longer you hold it back, it will erupt. And the harder you hold emotion back, it will destruct what the emotion is going against. Which mine is the United States government, pharmaceutical companies, and women that lie about who I am. So that's why I'm emotionally charged with all my music and everything I do. So if any of you are Christians and you're being persecuted right now, just know the release is more is beautiful. The longer you're persecuted, the more you know you're right and they're telling you you're wrong. When it lets go and you know you're right after the world told you you're wrong, that's when you can sing your song.